Yeah, it is, Ryan. And uh, the devastation coming out of Puerto Rico is absolutely heartbreaking. Uh, I was actually checking my Twitter feed earlier, and a mayor in Puerto Rico had said that uh, the entire island is without power, and about 90% of the entire population has no drinking water. And I also seen another tweet on my Twitter feed uh, from another official in Puerto Rico saying that it could take months before the entire power grid is restored. It is a very serious situation. And I wanted to show this because I showed this during News Now this morning that this is the last radar image we have of Maria. This was at 5.50 this morning. And you can see this was just as it was making landfall. And uh, ever and when this happened, this was at 5.50 this morning, uh, the radar actually went down. We don't exactly know what happened, but the National Weather Service in San Juan, who operates this radar, had ultimately said it was a hardware failure on the radar. But this was the last image we had from the next rad. Uh, of Hurricane Maria. Now, let's get into the current details on Maria. It has weakened a little bit. It's down to a Category uh, 4 storm. Uh, it's actually down to a Category 3, actually. It's 115 miles an hour, and the wind gusts, though, are still quite powerful at about 165, and it's picked up a little bit of speed moving northwest at 12, and this is Maria here, just a very, very devastating and powerful storm. Now, here is the official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center, and this is where Maria is going. After it exits Puerto Rico, it's going to come up through the Atlantic and it should regain strength into a Category 4 and then it's going to come up toward the Bahamas toward the end of the week, but it should stay away from the Bahamas and then it comes up into the Atlantic and it ultimately starts to weaken off again. It goes back down to a Category 2 by Monday morning. However, this could become a U.S. threat. We will have to keep our eyes on that, or at least a U.S. East Coast threat. It moves away from Florida, but we will have to keep our eyes on the East Coast because it could potentially impact some of the East Coast areas. And uh, this is the model guidance uh, coming off the computer models. And we call this a spaghetti plot because it looks like a bunch of strands of spaghetti. And uh, the uh, National Hurricane Center forecast cone is this cone that you see right here. It is in agreement with the models that it should make that right-hand turn then after that, it's still a little uncertainty as to where this could ultimately go, but we will keep our eyes on it uh, for the remainder of the week. And again, all of our thoughts and prayers here at WNY News Now go to everybody who's being affected by Puerto Rico. The devastation is horrible, and uh, we just hope that things get better down there real soon. Back to you, Ryan.